No, it's mine. But I needed to expand my empire and to protect myself from other countries to do so. But it's my tributary state, my buffer state. <laughs> Japan will help us reform and become stronger. No, we were originally China's tributary and shall remain so forever. This led to many internal conflicts within Korea, which provided China and Japan opportunities to intervene and fight with each other. Thus, tension increased. There was an attempted coup in 1884. The assassination of pro-Japanese Korean leader Kim Okyun in 1894, supposedly by the Chinese, infuriated with Japan. The Tonghak Rebellion in 1894 led to Japan sending her troops into Korea and demanding reform of Korean internal administration. This was an immediate cause of dispute between Japan and China. Despite Lee Hong Chang asking for help from the Western powers, none came. Around 11.40 a.m. on September 17, 1894, 12 Chinese ships under the command of Admiral Ting were transporting Chinese troops when they ran into the main Japanese battle fleet. The Japanese had less than 300 casualties and didn't lose a single one of their 12 ships. The Chinese, on the other hand, sustained 1,000 casualties and lost 5 ships. They retreated to Port Arthur for repair. After that, the Japanese army took Port Arthur by its backside in November 1894. On 18th January 1895, the Japanese Navy bombarded a town 100 miles west of Wei Highway as a diversion. A second army managed to land on the east of Wei Highway without any op opposition. The Japanese launched a three-pronged attack on the fortifications of the town of Wei Hai on 30th January. On the 2nd of February, they took over the fortification guns as the Chinese soldiers had fled the night before. These guns destroyed half of the Peiyang fleet and the Japanese captured the remaining half. Chinese defeat was now certain. Admiral Ding overdosed on opium in his office, and his deputy Admiral Liu also committed suicide. The Scottish Vice Admiral John McClure wrote a letter of surrender under Admiral Ding's name, and the siege ended on 12 February 1895. Now that the Japanese had captured Port Arthur and Wei Highway, they were now able to launch a pincer attack on Beijing. Li Hongzhang was sent to sue for peace. <laughs>